here's a chance to see some of the valve collection. It's, a, it's about 5% of my actual collection here. Make the electrode spacing smaller and the capacity between the electrodes goes up. So that, you know, it's a, it's you a big trade-off thing. Yeah. And <coughs> this is a, the Fleming diode from, well, 1889 if it's original. Here we go. Ah, oh, oh, yes. well done. And when was that resolved? Oh, well, that was in the sort of back end of the 1800, yeah. 1890 something. And he called it a valve because it would only allow current to pass in one direction. And that's where the name valve came from and why in the UK we call them valves, or well, the Americans call them tubes, which are short for vacuum tube. We know now Positive. Yeah, yeah. The valves here in this shelf are all from the 1920s. You've got the three valves, the two um, low power stages and the slightly higher powered stage, slightly bigger valve. The reason it was done like that was that in Germany at this time, and that was 1927, there was a tax on radios depending on the number of valve holders in the set. So this only needed one valve holder, so you paid less tax. As we'll, we'll um, see some of the other bits and pieces. These two racks here are E prefix valves, and they're all. Okay. Yeah, it's fascinating actually. Well, I think this is absolutely incredible. Um, you've got to have a very special brain to be involved in all this. I understand that he has over a quarter of a million valves here, um, in, and that is not really including his private collection of antique and really, really historically interesting valves. Um, as I've said before, they're not very pretty, and I do wish he'd collect something, I don't know, pretty, interesting. Um, but there you are. I've got dogs and he's got valves. <laughs> These things are called Geissler tubes. They were invented long before valves when they first discovered that an electric current would go through a, 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 a tube containing gas. It ionizes the gas and the ions are what give you the effect. But they named it the Cronzilla <laughs> after Godzilla. <laughs> because it's a pretty big beast. It only gets 25% efficiency. Yeah, but even so, I mean, it's 600 and something volts. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a mobile phone package that's got access to the internet via the mobile phone network, and it all started with a few sparks and a coherer over 100 years ago. And there it is. And that's 100 years of progress. I think sometimes we'd never have had the house, he only bought it to house the valves. <laughs>